In this video, we will discuss the problem peak element. Previously, this problem has been asked in companies like Amazon and Google. So let's read the problem statement. Problem says that will be given an array where no two adjacent elements will be the same. And we have to find the index of the peak element. Now an element is considered as a peak element if it is greater than its element on the left side and the right side if they exist. Okay, they can be multiple peak elements that can exist in an array as well. In such a case, we can return any index of the peak element and that will be considered as the answer. Uh, if we return the right peak, then we will be getting true as a output. Otherwise, we'll get false here. Uh, okay, now if you see the very first test case here, so we definitely have a peak element that is 8 here because 8 is greater than the element on its left because 8 is greater than 7 and 8 is also greater than the element on the right that is 8 is greater than 3 here. Now in the second test case 90 is greater than 23 and 90 is also greater than 80. So 90 is greater than the elements on its on its left and right side so 90 can be considered as a peak element so we can return its index also. Okay now if you see the last test case here 1 2 3 so you can see here that 3 is greater than the element on its left side and on the right side there is no element so we can imagine negative infinity there. So 3 is greater than the element on its left and in the right side since there does not exist anything so we will consider that 3 is the peak element here. Okay, how can we solve this particular problem? For solving this particular problem we can apply a brute force approach that is we can, uh, we can iterate throughout the array in a linear way and we can check for every element whether it is greater than the element on its left side and the right side if they exist. Uh, okay, so what we will find is when we will check for uh, all the elements then when we come across the element 8 here then with respect to 8 you can see that 8 is greater than the element on its left as well as greater than the elements on its right so 8 will behave as the peak element so we can return the index of this particular element. So what you will do is for every element you will take variable that is left and right initially mark it as true and you will check the condition for the left and the right elements. If the left element exists and it is greater then you will mark the left variable as false. If the right element exists and the, and the right element is greater than the ith element then you will mark the right variable as false. At the end both the left and the right condition should be true that is the ith element should be greater than both its left element and the right element. If that is not so then we will return then we will uh, move to the next index. But if for any ith index uh, we find that um, element at the ith index is greater than the element on the left and the right both then we can simply return that particular in index here. Now this approach will take the time complexity that is nothing but order of n because we will be iterating li linearly throughout the array and the space complexity taken will be order of 1 because we are not using any extra space here. When we do this more optimally, yes we can apply binary search and we can solve this problem more optimally. Let's see how. So what we can do is we can first of all observe some edge cases here. That we observe it, that we had observed in the third sample test case for the problem as well. So if you see here, uh, sometimes the first or the last element can behave as the peak. Now in this particular test case, if you will observe here, so when I'll check, so seven is greater than four, and seven is the very first element. So here I can say that arr of zero, if it is greater than arr of one, what does that mean? If the zeroth element is greater than the element at the one index, then I can say that this can be considered as a peak. So if the element at the 0th index is greater than the element at the index 1, it can be considered as a peak because for the 0th element, uh, there is no element on the left side so you do not need to check and if it is greater than the element on its right side, then that will be the, that can consider it as one of the peaks here. Similarly, this 7 also will be considered as a peak here because it is greater than, greater than the element at the index 1. Now another thing can be that sometimes the peak might lie on the right side. So suppose that. Uh, suppose that the rightmost element is the peak. In that case, what will happen? If the last element is greater than the second last element, then that can also be considered as the peak condition. And we can return the last index here. Uh, if 5 is greater than 4, or you can see 5 is greater than 1 for these two test cases, this will also come under the same category here. Okay. Otherwise, what we can do? Otherwise, we can apply simple binary search. Although the array is not sorted, but we can apply the concept of binary search because we are searching in a range here. Okay, for the peak element. Now what will happen is, suppose that we have this particular test case here and initially my low is standing at index 0, high is standing at the last element and mid will be standing here at the index 2. Okay, so you can see here that because uh, because the low value is 0, high value is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the mid will be 2 here. Now if you observe, so what what is the, uh, what is the uh, 
uh, observation in this particular test case. The test case says that the element at the mid index it is greater than the element at the mid plus one index and it is also greater than the element at the mid minus one index. So if the element at the mid index is greater than the element on its left and right both it can be considered as a peak so we can directly return the mid index correct but what if that is not so if that is not so then what can we conclude so in this particular case if you will observe so is the element at the mid index greater than both its left and right no it is not now in this particular case for this particular test case you can see that the mid is lesser element at the mid index it is lesser than the element on the right of it so 3 is less than 4 okay element 3 is less than 4 so this means that i can try to i can try to search for my peak on the right side of mid why because this mid is not my peak but if the element on the right side of mid if it is greater if the element on the right side of mid if it is greater then at least one peak will apply because the thing is that if the element uh, at mid plus 1 index if it is greater so what can happen either the elements can keep on increasing from the mid plus 1 index till the end in that case 6 will behave as my peak okay or what can happen is uh, at least one peak will lie from mid plus one till the end even if the array is not increasing like this if they will be a, if if on the right side i find an increase and then there is a dip also even in that case i'll find a peak here so the thing is that if the element at the mid index if it is lesser compared to the element at the mid plus one index in that case on the right side that is from mid plus one till the high at least one peak will lie okay you can see that in this test case the peak will peak will be six and in this test case uh, the peak from mid plus 1 till high will be the element 4 here. So the thing is that if the mid element is there and it is lesser than the element at mid plus 1 then at least one peak will at least one peak element will lie from mid index till the high. So we can update the lowest mid plus 1 here. Okay. So we can start searching from mid plus 1 till the high. In the other case suppose that uh, what happens is if the element at the mid index if it is not less than the mid plus 1 of element if it is greater than the mid plus one element then we can say that at least one peak will lie on the left side so we need to update the high as mid minus one we should search from low till mid minus one that is why we can update the high like this i hope you, it is very clear by looking at this test test cases as well let's discuss the implementation also so obviously if there is only one element then you can directly return the index zero here otherwise you can check if the very first element can behave as the peak return it if the last element is greater than the second last then the last element can behave as the peak here okay uh, otherwise you can say that you will start searching uh, from the index 1 till n minus 2 because if you have checked for the first and the last element then you will be checking inside the range so low will be equal to 1 high will be equal to n minus 2 you will check from the second element till the second last element now after that you will find out the midpoint okay and if the element at the mid index if it is greater than the element on its right and uh, on its right and the element on its left both then mid will be the peak here so we can consider it otherwise if the element at the mid index if it is lesser than the element on the mid plus one index so if the mid element is lesser so at least one peak will lie starting from mid plus one till the end of the array so we can update the lowest mid plus one that is from mid plus one index till the end we can find at least one peak okay otherwise if the element at the mid index if the element at the mid index is greater so this means that at least one peak will lie on the left side so we can update the high as mid minus one here so this is what we have done here time complexity complexity taken will be basically order of log n because we will be applying a simpler simple binary search here space complexity that we will take is basically order of one because we are not taking any extra data structure or any other thing okay let's try and submit the code as well for this problem so let's submit this code now so you can see that our code is also getting accepted i hope that you have understood this in case if you did make sure to comment understood in the chat thank you for watching this video